Hi, San Pedro kids. It's me, Miss Dawn, and I just wanted to share a video with you to tell you some important news that you may not have heard from your families. Maybe they've already told you, but I wanted to talk to you myself since I can't see you in person for a while, and so I wanted to give this news to you in a video so you could hear it from me. So, it's kind of sad, but it's also not totally sad, okay? So get ready. Um, I am not going to be the director of San Pedro Kids anymore. I am going to become a teacher, like a regular teacher in a classroom at a school. And I got a job, I'm gonna be a middle school teacher, so I'm going to be teaching kids who are older than you and that's what I used to do a long time ago before I had my own kids. So I am going to become a teacher like the ones you have and love in your schools every year. And that is going to start this fall. Now I don't know what that's gonna look like with the virus and the quarantine and all of the things that we have been living through for the last few months. It's gonna be a little weird and a little wacky but it is what God has called me to do. He has called me to go back into that kind of a job, which means that you will no longer have me as your teacher on Wednesday nights or on Sunday mornings for children's church when we go and watch the Jesus Storybook Bible videos and talk about them. And um, I won't be the one who's in charge anymore. Somebody else will do it. I don't know who that is yet, but I'm not worried about that. God's going to provide the next person to carry on the work that I've been doing for the last several years. So this is goodbye, but not forever, because I will still be at San Pedro. I am a member of that church, and my family still goes there. So I will still be around. You will still be able to say hello to me. I just won't be holding the shepherd's staff anymore, and I won't be your teacher at church anymore, unless they sign me up to be a Sunday school teacher, which could very well happen. So I love you all very much, and you have blessed my lives for so long. These last five years, it has been wonderful to spend every week with you, and I will miss doing that with you. But I also know that God has great things planned for each one of you, and you're going to be okay. And I'm going to be okay, too. <laughs> we will just go forward trusting him and his plan. I want to finish this little goodbye video with reading you a passage from my Bible. Because I always want you to know how important it is to stay in God's word and to let it fill your heart with hope and truth because nothing else will fill your heart with hope and truth the way the Bible will. So if you remember nothing else that I have ever taught you, I want you to always remember that the Bible is always a good choice. Studying your Bible is never a bad choice. So do it. Do it often. Okay? May the Lord bless you and protect you. May the Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look with favor on you and give you peace. Numbers 6, 24 through 26. Amen. I love you. I will see you very soon. I hope. Bye.